My name is Mo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer a domain name into AWS. So AWS manages domain names registration and transfers through a tool called Route 53. So I'm logged into AWS here on the home page and you'll see that Route 53 is on my recently visited tool list but if you haven't got that there and you haven't been there before you can go to the search bar and just type in Route 53 now you can purchase new domain names through here as well. So we actually go down to this section here on the left, registered domains. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger. So click on registered domains here, you get the option of registering a new domain. So, or if you want to transfer a domain to AWS, we use the transfer in option. I'm just going to do one single domain. I've got a domain here that I'm going to transfer across. And I've now, in order for this to happen, I've actually set up on the other registrar where the domain's currently hosted, I've actually unlocked it to make it transferable. So if whatever registrar that you might be with when you're transferring a domain, you'll just need to make sure that you unlock it first. Otherwise, you won't be able to transfer it. So you'll see here, it actually says the wording transferable. So that means uh, it's telling me I've already done that. Uh, you will also need a code in a moment to be able to transfer that domain, but I'm just gonna verify that I've done these steps. So most of these are not applicable to me. If they were applicable, you probably don't need this video. And then also your domain also can't be expired when you before you do this process so if it has expired you will need to renew it before you do the transfer so it's going to keep the existing name servers so that avoids any disruption to your website in the process of the transfer and now this is where i get the authorization code so i copy across that from my other registrar where i've had the domain and you paste it in here okay so this is going to auto renew that's fine i'm happy with that and I'm going to go next. And this is where I fill in all my contact information. So I've gone ahead and filled in all my personal information. And I'm going to keep these other details the same. And I'm also turning on privacy protection. So when people do a who is and try and look up my domain, they're not going to find my personal details on there. And I'm going to click next. I'm going to check the box that I've read and agree to the terms and conditions. And then I'll submit that request. And this has been successful. So you'll see here, I've got notification saying the request to transfer the following domain is in progress. I've noticed it takes about a week for this to actually occur. And I can actually click here and check the status at any time. And that's it, it's that easy.